Hello, everyone. Good evening. How is it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Cultist Simulator, shall we? So this is a game I've never played, and it was recommended by Pizza, and I've always had it on my wish list. It seemed interesting. Love roguelikes. Uh, I like, uh, you know, Arkham Horror. I like this era of, you know, intrigue and Lovecraftian stuff. So I'm, I'm really interested to see how this goes. <laughs> I know, Tantalus, indeed, isn't it? Um, we're going to see how this cultist simulator plays out. Space Cookie, Pizza, Weebit, Nathan, Tantalus, Cobra. Good evening, everybody. So awesome to see you. I hope you're all doing well. Um, Weebit, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I hope you are well. Oh, interesting. So, Pizza is telling me that historically, this, pl this game takes place in Britain before America was a thing. Okay, then I'm wrong. I thought this was like 1920s um, time period. So, I'm completely out of my depth already. Um, so, there we go. So, we're talking like, what, 18th century Britain? All right. Well... That is basically the limit of what I know, and as I said in the title, I have never played, so we're just going to dive into it. If I ask questions and you can help without being too spoilery, awesome, but otherwise I have no idea what I'm doing, and I'll probably lose horribly, and I'm excited to do so. So let's go in. So there's no computers, no electronics. You're waiting on a train in Pittsburgh, we bid. That's awesome, my friend. I love it. You're a rolling stone, wee bit. All right, here we go. We're going to begin the game. All right. So, okay. And it looks like um, from... I couldn't help but check out some of the screenshots and press information, you know, when I'm looking at the game. And it does appear to be like a card-based uh, roguelike tabletop kind of combo thing going on. So let's just see how this shakes out. Um, okay, so I am... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I'm the Aspirant. And we're just going to name ourselves. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to call myself Dr. Incompetent because, hey, that's me. And let's see, this says menial employment. A precarious position as a hospital porter miserable but it's all you can find just now okay so that's my job um interesting interesting okay recommend pausing often there's no reason not to yeah i should have paused it on that last piece of uh, information i didn't think that that was going to hide itself um so i i messed up on <laughs> reading that. Okay, so here's the game board. I'm on a table. I'm on a digital table and I'm playing this game. I wonder if, can, if you can get this game in, in real life uh, like a physical version of this. But anyway, here we go. Um, and so let's see. Uh, I have no idea. Let's see. What's this? Uh, normal. Um, options. Okay. Uh, I click this. I don't know. What if I click this? Oh, okay. I need to I need to put this on my work stack. Okay, so I've put this over here and now I'm working. Another shift, mopping the darkened hallways, delivering post to hollow-eyed invalids, trundling corpse-laden gurneys to the basement. Oh, that's terrible. Sounds like a terrible job. Grim, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. How you doing? Oh, cool. That's interesting, pizza. You can get tarot cards, huh? All right, well, let's do it. I'm going to start my job, and it's taking time. I'm going to pause it just to see if I can. Yes, I can. Okay, so you pause with the space bar, and looks like I have some resources down here, maybe health, uh, closed eye, open eye, yellow circle. All right, so anyway, uh, we'll find out what that is as we go, and here's me working. I'm doing my job. I don't know what's going to happen. Anything could happen. I did it. And halfway through your shift, the head porter beckons you aside. I'm going to pause it to read this, by the way. 
Hey, hey, Austin. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. I know. I'm with you, Austin. I don't know anything about what this game is, is on about either, except that it's like a decision-making, maybe narrative-style roguelike with some tape, like digital tabletop card game. I, I don't know. That's I'm throwing out a lot of words, but I love it. I'm, I'm excited to see it. Pizza has recommended it. It seems to be highly touted, so I'm down. Let's Let's find out. Now you guys know me. I like to read everything, so uh, and and be very very careful when I play games and uh, contemplative. So I pause it, and I have paused the game because I'm having a dream or something, or I only have a certain amount of time to to do something with this dream. So uh, we'll find out. Okay, so I'm gonna. Um, Halfway through your shift, the head porter beckons you aside. We won't require your services any longer, he says. Oh my god. I've been fired. Here, your last payment. We've paid you through the end of the month. I have lost my job. At least now I have a little time to rest and my health improves. Yeah, you know what? We can do better than that job. Trundling corpses. Alright, and so if... I got a dream, and it's unlocked, and I can collect something, which appear to be two face-down cards. Now, also, there's some stuff here. Uh, what is this? Aspect ability. Brain or heart or hand or eye. Most of us are born with most of them, okay? So, aspect heart. The heart, relentless beats to protect the skin of the world we understand. Well, I don't know what that means, but I want that to happen. Um, aspect ingredient. Fuel, ointment, pigment, patience, all are consumed in time. Okay, so a dream is unlocked. It's down here. I'm going to collect some stuff. So for working, earn a living or practice the invisible arts. The game is slow-paced. Fantastic pizza. All right, so I earned a living, and apparently I got some health, and I guess this is money, like I got some money. Cards will have aspects which will change where you can put them, says Pizza. Fascinating. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to close this, and you can see, like, here's my money. Here's my health. Okay, cool, Pizza. Let's learn. All right. So I'm going to start my dream. Recall my dreams. Once again, I dream of a glow beneath the filthy skin of the world. Oh, boy. I haven't had that dream myself, but it sounds terrifying the light through the black wood the pale door the old man oh not that old man again all right we're gonna unpause it and dream this dream just dream a little dream and see what happens so it's counting down here i don't know what else can happen while i'm doing this dream but maybe like random events or other things will be on different timers we're gonna have to see how that shakes itself out I'm having a dream. I'm thinking about my dream. And I did it. Okay. And I'm going to pause it. Oh, I can work um, while I'm... I see. I need to get a new job, though. So maybe I'll have to click this deck to find a new job. Um, recall my dreams. I began when I spoke to the old man in the hospital. He knew my name, but he's dead now. The pneumonia. Why do I dream of him still? What is the, the cobalt light in my dreams? Time is now passing. Okay, so I'm going to collect a bunch of stuff. Which, I don't know if I collect all of this or just some of it. Click on an empty card slot to see what you can put in it. Okay. Um, I'm going to get contentment and passion. Okay, so for doing this, I get contentment. Um, dull minds are never either intuitive or mathematical. Blase Pascal says that. Oh, that Blase Pascal. With enough glimmering, you can study to gain more passion. Contentment says, um, I'm happy, I think. Contentment defends against dread, but contentment doesn't last. All right, so I'm going to try to collect this stuff, and I will. Okay, so now I have stuff here. Um, I can rest, reconsider my priorities, or risk yourself in exploration of the kingdoms of sleep. 
Huh. Okay, I'm not going to dream. I'm going to close this window. Yeah, thank you, Austin and Pizza. Um, Austin is right, everybody. Uh, I'm going to learn and figure it out on my own time, and hopefully the game will let me know. But I don't know how involved their tutorial is for the game. But also, Pizza has uh, assured me that he will not spoil anything. He's just helping me out with some, uh, you know, like he said, technical stuff here and there. Um, so if I click, for example, I could dream or um, I could... Uh, work right so I can click on this to try to earn a living um, and it says slot work something I can do something I know or something I am all right and so I can um, if I click on this uh, scholarship okay Hey, Snack, good evening, my friend. I know, it is an interesting game uh, name. I don't know what kind of cult we're trying to simulate, but it's it's going to be something. Hey, Infant Dave, what is up? Good evening, my friend. How you doing? Um, so if I want to put something in this slot, it says what? This is what I can put here. I can put um, benefactor, desire, right, job, or uh, ability cards there. And I don't think I have any cards that do that. Or maybe I do. Passion. Health. This is my body. There are other bodies, but this one is mine. And mine needs it as a fungus needs soil. That's a great way to think about your body. Yeah, Infidave, this is my first time ever playing, so I'm just kind of fuddling through it as I go, but... I've heard a lot of good things, and I'm excited to check it out. So, but I will say to, to you, Infidave, and to everyone here, if I ask a question and you feel, because you know about this game, that you can answer it without being spoilery, um, I would appreciate that. And most of my questions will be technical. So, can I slide one of these cards onto the work and do it if it matches the aspect that is available here? Um, or is that something I just need to figure out through trial and error? Um, like, I see... Click on the slot. So I, like, this slot right here... It just makes magical dust. And then... Like, click on passion. Oh, the glowing ones are the ones I can put in. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Okay, thank you. you the, I think what was going on was this this pop-up box was, like, blocking my cards, so I couldn't understand what the glow was applying to. Okay, so I can look for work with health, passion, or just health and passion. So I'm going to try to do it with passion. Let's find a good job passionately. Oh, oh okay, perfect. You know what I love about what I see here is that I can I can read the information before I commit to it. So it's not like I'm just doing this and then blindly saying. I can actually probably see what happens if I put this here. Uh, I could go for backbreaking work. Oh, that's terrible. What's passion? Um, painting? Yeah, Austin. I mean, like, it would be really hard if I couldn't see what, you know, before I made my decision. I used to paint. I could paint those sites I half remember from my dreams. I might sell something. I probably won't. I love this. I have terrible dreams of an old man in cobalt shining uh, blue light. Does anybody want to buy my artwork of this old man that died at the hospital that haunts my dreams? I think you would love it and I'm going to paint it. So let's just be a painter. Let's do it. Okay. Um, so I'm starting it out. Now it's going to take 60 seconds to do this. Okay, and it says yearning over here. Um, if I am restless, perhaps this is what I want. And it says consumes its contents. And the only thing I could put in here is like a creepy hand, which says restlessness. So I don't have any cards that would do that. So I can't really change this at all, I don't think. Um, so I just will let it run. Interesting, wee bit. Congrats, my friend. 
Is that a better location for you? Yep, you're just passing right through where I'm at. If there's a candle, it destroys the card. Oh, thank you, Infidave. So basically what happens is um, the candle means that my passion card is going to be consumed by this activity. Okay, um, that makes sense. And now I'm going to learn this, but down here I, I'm having... Uh, let me close this. I'm having like an idea, I think, when I'm dreaming. A change in the air. I need funds to live, but perhaps this recent upset in my circumstances is a secret blessing. Is there something to my dreams? There is a change in the air. So will will all of the timers be running um, concurrently? It looks like they will be. I'm going to unpause it. Yes, they are. And this is going to finish. The change in the air is actually going to finish before I finish my job. I don't know if I should be doing my job then uh, while there's a change in the air. Like if I should have waited for this to happen. Um, oh, and my contentment is going to run out. Kuro, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Hey, Rua, what is up? It is clear as mud, Rua, and I love it. Um, actually, I'm going to change one thing. Um, I'm going to change the info window duration to longer. I like them to be open for longer. Um, now, uh... It looks like this card, I don't think I can spend it right now, but while it's here, I'm protected against Dread. Now, yeah, Austin, I like it too. I mean, I found that, like, because I'm trying to talk to you guys and, and just understand the game, that 10 seconds was a little too short. Yeah, from, yeah, 100%, Austin, I agree. <laughs> awesome, wee bit. Oh, perfect, wee bit. Well, that sounds very smart. Train station is right up your alley or track. I don't know what you say in that situation. Um, but I'm going to unpause it and let it go. My contentment is burning. My health is okay. I got two bucks to my name or two coins or whatever we want to call this money. So, I've been fired from my job at the hospital I'm dreaming of an old man and I'm trying to take up a career in painting it's a good start to the game I like what's happening now I could speed this up by the way I could just push M and go really really fast which I think I will do and now I'm going to slow it down okay I'm going to pause it <laughs> it does seem kind of weird doesn't it wee bit I'm into it yeah, Austin, life's going great. Yeah, um, hey, people, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. This is a brand new game, never played it. No idea what's going on. I'm taking it very slow. I know, wee bit. It is. It's a very, um, I get the, from the cover of the game and what I know about it, it looked like Arkham Horror to me. It looked like some kind of, you know, Victorian, Lovecraftian, terrifying game with tentacles and all that stuff, but I'm not sure. And so there's that spookiness, that supernatural element that's, like, running behind things. Uh, and it, the fact that it's called Cultist Simulator just puts you on edge of being afraid. Oh, no, people. I, um, this game, uh, Pizza Head recommended this game a long time ago and actually uh, donated money for me to get it and so I bought it thank you pizza and I've been meaning to play it and you know what um, I just decided to go into it it's usually based on king in yellow interesting Infidave I didn't know that yes eldritch gods there you go Kuro it's yeah that's a good point 2018 alright here we go and let's see what happens. Okay, so now there's a, a badge up here on this, and it says, um, I've finished a painting to the excitement of absolutely no one. No one but me. Sometimes painting will gain you glimmerings. Study them to unlock more advanced painting options. It's true, people. Um, it is, it is true. I just, I'm so bad at first-person shooters. 
it's a good idea to try Team Fortress 2 at some point, maybe, people, but I just didn't feel like it. And I felt like, uh, you know, trying out um, a slower kind of game like this, so I got some contentment. Um, I know, me too, Austin. I like the contentment. I love, like, if I could collect contentment in my life, I'd be down to get it. Now, um, absolutely, I, I could people uh let's see um study them to unlock more advanced painting options okay so sometimes i can get glimmerings from painting and now i don't know if i want to study the glimmerings it sounds creepy but anyway so passion is exhausted my passion burns low so i i guess i can't get any passion for 60 seconds or something okay interesting That's encouraging, people. I know, Austin. I, I didn't think about it that way either, but I should be painting my own dreams as well. I gotta tell you guys, though, I don't know about you. I'm one of those people who I, I very rarely remember my dreams. I need to get better at it. Like, And if I do remember them, it's only for a few minutes after I wake up, and then it all just starts to pour away like through a sieve, and I, I just have very, very little recall of my dreams. <laughs> oh, man. Wouldn't that be the way, Pizza? Oh, the four-year-olds are definitely drawing better than me. All right. So... All right, all right, all right. Um, now what do I want to do? I'm, I'm still doing... This is still happening. Oh, a bequest arrives. A letter from a solicitor. The old man at the hospital, the one I dream of, has named me in his will. I'll hear more... Soon. Oh, my. I know, Austin. It's a great question, which is like, do I really want to know? It could be... Uh, you know, it's like that moment in Never Ending Story where you look in the mirror and when you're confronted with your true self, most men run away screaming. So that could be what happens. Um, but I got to face my fears in front of the canvas. Now, the old man has named me in his will. That's fantastic. This is like, uh, you know, great expectations or something. All right, so we've got that going. Now, in terms of work, do I have anything I can do for work? All I could do is backbreaking labor, which seems awful. Um, this is running right now, so it looks like... I can't tell entirely, everybody, but let me see if this works. Um, oh my god, it's going way too far. No, I don't want to go that far. No, no, come back, table. Where'd you go? Oh no. Where's the table? Okay. Boy, that was odd. All right. It sure does, Infidave. I guess I do need money, but maybe I'll get some from this old man's will. It looks like I can't click on the dream button while this I, uh, light bulb button is highlighted. Or maybe I'm... Oh, no. Yes, you can. Okay, never mind. I lied about that. Okay, so I could rest and reconsider my priorities. Um, and if I... Hey, Marino, what is up, my friend? How's it going? Good to see you. Drag the sideways C. Um, the game will improve as I play. Okay, Marino, thank you. Um, oh, I see. You mean this blue thing? Okay, I will. I see. What is this? Is this just like... Okay, we'll find out about what that is. Just another field to put different cards or something? All right. Um, okay, so I've got this button. I could dream, and what what could I... I could... If I do this, what happens if I dream? With luck, I will wake refreshed. Sometimes this will provide contentment. Often it will do nothing. Occasionally it will create dread or fascination. Okay. If I take an early night.
I hope they don't ever do that, people. They better not. I can't afford that. Yeah, it is a pretty risky roll. Um, Alright, funds. If I purchase... <laughs> oh, I could pay to for, like, a sleeping pill. In times of a special crisis, I might visit a discreet pharmacist to purchase a tincture of opium <laughs> and make my dreams sweet. But only in times of a special crisis. This is an expensive and risky way to gain contentment. It might provoke sickness or despair. That's funny. Okay, we're going to just stay away from the old tincture. And think about some other options that we have. Uh, let's see. So, this is just running on its own. This says um, only these two cards. So... What I'm thinking about right now, everyone, is like, do I want to actually look for work or try to dream, or should I just wait for my appointment with the uh, estate reading of the will or whatever? That's kind of what I thought, um, Marino. I know, Tantalus, me neither, me neither. But I think it's going to get culty. And so I think I'm just going to wait. I don't know if like there's a sense of urgency in the game, but I don't feel it right now. That's right. It's the will of the guy who died in my dreams. I've been named in it. And let's just see how that goes. So I'm going to speed it up. Well, it's a great question, um, Pizza. I don't want to stay unemployed, but this, let me just walk you guys through my thought process. The only thing I could have done on the job was the backbreaking labor, and I just don't want to do backbreaking labor. I don't. I just don't like it. So I'm going to try to get a different option. My passion should come back, but it's going to take a while. Now there's 11 options here. So, okay, or 11... I don't know what the number in the circle means but that's right, Infidave. I don't want this, like, working at the shipyard or whatever. The old man has bequeathed me a sum of money and a packet of peculiar papers, poetry, riddles, metaphysical speculations. For the first time in months, here is some fuel for my reason. Okay, so I could study also. So I think this is what you guys, um, Marino and others, were talking about, which is the new options. So now it looks like I'll have an option to either um, study or dream or go get work. All right, and I'm going to collect money. I, ooh, nine money. Goodness gracious. Um, or just collect it all, I guess. Nice, wee bit. It's coming in. I think it's not a I think it's not a branching choice right now, Austin. I think I get eleven things, and nine of them were funds. One is a bequest and one is reason. No live like some new cards. Oh, thank you. If I click on the numbers, I can move all the cards at the same time. Oh, I see. You mean down here? Um, or, oh, 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 no, like, I can drag the whole stack. Thank you. Perfect. All right, and then um, I'm just going to collect all this stuff. And now we have a new thing that we can do. We can study. Unlocks books and other treasures. Okay, great. So uh, I'm going to close this, and I guess I can move this. So this is the study. Okay, so the light bulb was the study, and I can move it around if I want. So you can, like, adjust this how you wish. Uh, your game board. 